get a slope you get a slope this is slope here y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 so you see that y2 minus y1 is equal to theta y x2 minus x1 stand for theta x had theta y to y and had that of s to s you have y plus theta y equal 30 times x plus theta x that is what you have then you make theta y the subject of the formula by taking y off this side theta y would not be 3 times x plus theta x minus y don't forget what your y is 3 times s so you can put it back here so you finally have theta y equal 3 times x plus theta x minus 3 times x that is what you have then you remember remember that's what you call sine tan theta equal sine theta over cos what cos theta that is what you have to remember so your theta now is x plus theta x that is what your theta is for this case here yeah. and that theta is what is x there are two angles there x plus theta s that's the first angle the second angle is x so it means that So it means that there are y now be sine s plus theta x over cos x plus theta x. Got it three here outside the back minus sine x over cos x. That is what it will be. That is what it will be. That is what it will be. So this thing is also here. Yeah, that is what it will be. Then from here, you can see that 3 is common. So you can factorize it by bringing 3 outside. So you have y equal 3 into sine s plus theta x over cos x plus theta x minus sine x over cos s that is what you have this is a fraction a fraction is what you have so you got to get the SEM SEM of cos x plus theta x and cos x so the LCM will be cos x plus theta x cos x that is what the SEM will be that is theta y so this cancel this you have this times this so you have sine x plus theta x cos x minus this cancel this you have this times this so cos x plus theta x then sine x that is what you have so don't forget your theory don't forget your td so the td is here that is it that's the bracket the td is here then from here look at the hot one sine x plus theta x cos x minus cos x plus theta x sine x so let this one be a this one is b that is a this one is b that is a is x plus theta x and b is x that's the meaning so you need to remember that sine a minus b equal sine a cos b minus cos a sine b that is it so this equal this and this is also equal to this one this is what you have here so you have to use this to replace it they are equal so you have there are y equal t 
into sine a. A is x plus delta x minus b, which is x, all over cos x plus delta x, then cos what? Cos s. That is what you got. So your a, s plus delta x minus b, you got now, which is a uh, x. So you can see the way plus x will cancel minus s. That is it. Plus x cancel minus x. Then let me see what you have. So you have, you have, you have the y equal three into bracket sine delta x all over cos x plus delta x then cos x that is what you got that is what remaining so from here the next step is you divide both sides by delta s that's the next thing you do you divide both sides by delta s so you have delta y over delta s is 3 into sine delta x over cos x plus delta x cos x then delta x that is it so you've done that now that is it so you now take the limit you take the limit now of both sides as delta s approaches zero you take the limit of both sides as delta s approach zero let's take the limit now let's take the limit so take the limit as take the limit take limit as delta s turn to zero you turn to zero so you have delta y over delta s as delta s turn to zero equal three into sine delta s over delta s as delta s turn to zero times one over cos s plus delta x cos uh, s that is the meaning so just bring delta s so bring it under this place so delta s is already here so this time this is this this and this they are together as delta s approach zero so let's take the limit now now listen very well the limit of delta y over delta s as delta s approach zero is dy ds take notes that's the concept so the limit of delta y over delta x as delta x approach zero is dy ds this one is done this is the next one now the limits of sine delta x over delta x as delta x approach zero is one take note listen again i'll say it again the limit of sine delta x over delta x as delta x approach zero is one so one times td you have td here dot you are here now delta s zero when you put a zero here you have one over cos x cos what cos x that is what you have so this one is here is zero cos x over cos x and cos x over cos x is cos square x so you have it to be three times one yeah, over one. cos square x that is what you have three times one over cos square x so from there you can move on from there so you have dy over the s equal t sex square x that is it one over cos square x is sex square x one over cos square x is sex square x that is it one over cos square x is sex square x then you replace for the s replace replace s with uh, with what 3x 
So you have it to be 3 sec square 3 s done. That is it. 3 sec square 3 s done.